What's going on everyone? Welcome to the channel. So today we got the review of Yee's Monstrum Nox 9 for the Switch. Yeah, let's open this up. Okay, so I went ahead and cut the cell phone off because I was probably going to hurt myself if I did it on camera. So let me get that off real quick. And this angle is a little different for me. So, yeah. Alright, so this was ordered on Yeez's website. I'm sorry, not Yeez. On NIS, Nice America website. It came for Penny to uh, support their uh, This Guy 6 that just came out. So, if you're a This Guy fan, have fun making it to 9 billion, 900, whatever the level cap is now. But, nice little throw in. Alright, so this is a Switch version of Yeez 9. And yes, I'm aware that uh, Yeez 9 came out for the PS4 a while back, but the Switch one happened to come out six months later. When I pre ordered it, I was not aware of that. Let's get the dungeon off. I believe this was $100. At least that's what I remember is. I heard this like legit a year and a half ago when it was first announced. So I wasn't a hundred percent sure on the price right now. And I wasn't aware that the Switch version wasn't going to come out at the same time. So they tricked me. But I'm not complaining. This is actually pretty cool. For a hundred bucks, it's, it's really nice. Now, I do want to make people aware. When you order off of NIS's website, Compared to ordering off a retail website, you actually get more stuff for the same price. Like for example, Poison Control, which is their new IP that came out four months ago. That one, from the top of my mind, that one, if you ordered it during retail, like from Best Buy or uh, GameStop, if you pre-ordered it, you basically got like the, the music as a uh, DLC. Compared to the actual pre-order on NIS's website, where you got an actual CD of music. I think that's it. Maybe. And just like that, the value is destroyed. Miss something. Okay. Let me just put this mess away. The CD fell. My favorite thing. Okay, I'm just let's the camera. So I believe it's the same stuff that you get with the PS4 pre-order. You did pre-order it. So we got the game. And you know what? Even though I'm like five games behind, I literally only played these Origins. But it got me so intrigued and actually started falling in love with the series. And I actually did play these Origins on the Xbox. You can actually download it on the Xbox store or uh, Microsoft store. I got it for five bucks on sale. So I played on the Series X. Yeah, people, you use the game on the Xbox. The world's ending. Also, if you guys are unaware, the PS4 variant of uh, Use 8, the reason why mine's in Japanese is uh, the European version, because for some reason the American version is like spiked completely up. It's like 60 to 90 bucks, depending on what you were looking at it. So at the time when I was looking at, at the time when I was looking at it, the American version was 80 bucks. The European version was still in the 35, 40 range. So I went ahead and just ordered that with the Yeez 9 English American version. And Yeez Memories of Silly. So still so came not so late. But all that for 130. I'm not complaining. So here's a switch game. That was included in this. Okay, yeah, so it does have like the DLC for the music. So that's pretty cool. I wish I would have done a little bit more. So, I mean, I have these eight, the Switch. And this one has a lot more stuff, as you can tell map, cards, and everything. So I wish I'd done a little bit more with that. But I'm not complaining. Put that in there. So, we got our pinups. 
Got one open Mickey Sonos. Look, there's other keychains. Pretty cool. A little spooky. Remember, guys, $100 for all of this. I mean, all the comments you think it's worth it. I mean, I know the pre-order for, for the retail version of this game. If you were to order uh, GameStop, for example, you weren't going to get everything that's included in the Miss America version. But you're going to get some good stuff regardless. We got the Wonka posters, which is actually F-Town pretty cool. And they're very heavy-duty material. They don't feel like the type of material you get from like a 2K game or something like that. At least these are good quality. I know I have not played Nine yet. I've had it for the PS4 forever. I just haven't played it. The one I actually played on the PS5 is because the speed and graphic increase, sort of. But, yeah, I'm gonna check it through it. And this. This I'm kind of trying not to chibi. I see why. These are very popular in Japan. I'll go ahead and open that up real quick. But yeah, for those of you who don't know about chibis, which I'm pretty sure everybody's watching this probably knows what a chibi is and all that. They're very popular in Japan. I didn't know how popular until I actually looked into it. Yeah, they're very popular. That's pretty really cool. This is very high quality book. See, I like it when companies actually give you your money's worth. I was looking at Bandai's Trails of, uh, whatever. Not Trails, I'm just saying. Tales. It's coming out. And they were on 170 for a little soundtrack, some stickers, and a little statue. But yeah, the statue looks pretty cool. But I can't see 170 or however much I said. For, uh, Let's get this out. I don't care how cool the tail series is. Just one more. Okay. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Sorry about the lighting. That was in a weird particular angle. I'm trying different things out for this channel. Oh no, there's two things. So. This, which. Lucky me. Let's go open it now. Do I want to use a scissor for this and just screw everything up? Yeah, I didn't die. Okay, so yeah. Usually when it comes to Special Edition, if it doesn't have a soundtrack, when I say soundtrack, I mean physical soundtrack, if the company was too lazy to spend 20 cents to get a disc and I'll put some music to it, I don't really bother. Unless that, uh, that game is like 40 bucks, and the collector edition is like 60. So you're basically paying the price of a new game, basically. And honestly, I kind of like the way they did everything on this. Okay. And last but not least. I like that I actually have a prequel. This one was the reason why I kind of got it. This prequel. Like, the reason why I never put that. Literally, I only, I only played these Origins. The reason why I never played any other these games is because there's somewhat of a connected story, and I want to know what actually happened in the beginning. So, it came out with these Origins, I went through and bought it. It's still sealed. Because I don't. Because I put it on the Xbox. I'm actually going to go through and read all this. Because, before I play it, I want to know what happens. So, yeah, there's a picture. Okay. Pretty much it. So what do you guys think? 100 bucks, pre-ordered it, actually 106. We got tax on that. And <laughs> I just actually found this out by surprise when I looked at my bank account today. But they don't take out your money for the pre-order, even though I thought they did already, until the pre-order basically is about to come out, or until they're about to ship it out. So I hope I didn't pay twice. But even if I did, I'm kind of happy with what I got. So what do you guys think? Yes, knowing this, I mean, it is a uh, 
used one. And if you guys are thinking that used 9 for the PS4 is going to drop below 40 bucks, just go buy it now because use 8 for the American version for the PS4, you can't even find any more unless it's over 50 bucks. It's been out for two years, let alone for the Switch version. Good luck finding that one. Trust me. Guys, thanks for watching. Let me know your thoughts. Like, review, like, subscribe. Have a good one. Peace.